guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Den and I am a first year Doctor of Optometry student at the University of Melbourne. It's going to be a big day, so I've woken up early, I'm about to throw some food into the slow cooker so that uh, my girlfriend can have some lunch today. I'm going to give myself a quick breakfast and then head off to uni and take you guys with me. a lot more awake with a bit of caffeine in me. I uh, just had breakfast, just a bit of porridge. I've thrown everything in the slow cooker, almost fully dressed, so I'm about to head out the door. I just double checked my timetable, so I've got an optical physics prac, which is to do with intermediate image planes and vignetting and things like that. Uh, and then the anatomy prac, which is cranial and ocular anatomy. Uh, so it's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna be playing around, I think, with some model skulls and stuff. Uh, so I'm about to head off and I'll take you guys with me and then I'll hopefully also take you guys to that social event that we've got later tonight. Looking forward to it. just got to say the amount of optical physics we have to learn is obscene and this book this book helps thank god all right anyway back to the vlog I just missed my train, which is why I'm a little bit out of breath. It's this close to making it through those doors as they were closing on me. I uh, couldn't even reach a hand in to you know, stop them from closing. But uh, that's fine, I'll catch the next one.
Hey there, so yesterday's social event was quite fun. I came second in limbo, which I didn't expect, and I think a lot of people expected, so I ended up getting a free drink for coming in second. There's no way I could have come in first, because I was going up against a few very flexible short girls, uh, so I'm pretty happy with how I went, all things considered. Um, today, I didn't film uh, anything this morning, but today we had a trade show. And so a trade show is where we go into uni and a couple companies that produce optometric or ophthalmic equipment come in and they set up stalls and they basically have all the students walk around the tables and they try to convince the students that they're the best company, that has the best gear with the best deals and why they should buy them. We do have to buy gear before next semester. It's a bit annoying because we haven't practiced yet with some of the gear that we need to buy. So we've had a bit of exposure to it. Um, a few tools like the retinoscope in the last vlog um, and we're gonna have to buy one of those so it's good to have at least a bit of exposure to that before we can decide on which company we want because our preclinical lab space has most of the companies but we haven't tried a, a few of the other, other equipments like um, the BIO which is a headset you use various lenses uh, and a found scope which we haven't learned how to use it so there's a lot of um, equipment that we haven't you know been able to, to even touch yet that we still have to go ahead and make a decision on buying. Um, we had a couple of companies coming in. There's one called Heine, there's Keeler, there's um, Volk, which makes the lenses. So there were quite a few companies there, and they all had their stalls out. They had all had um, all of their equipment hang out in the stalls, and you just go around, you play with the equipment, and you listen to their spiel. Um, and then at the end of the day, you end up putting in your order, and then they come into uni before the next semester. So we have to buy our equipment, and it's, it's, not, it's not cheap, but the idea is that this is equipment that will last us for our careers, um, so that we'll be using it well into our work even after we graduate university. Of course, there was a retinoscope, which I um, told you guys about last vlog, where you shoot a light into the patient's eye using this instrument, and it bounces back, so like when you take a flash and the light bounces out uh, in the photo, um, and depending on the way the light bounces back, you can tell what their prescription is, and you need to use it in conjunction with a couple of lenses, um, but yeah, so we played up with a few of those. Uh, we had a look at the ophthalmoscopes, which is similar to that, and they come in sort of a set. They come in what's called a diagnostic set, um, except an ophthalmoscope is used to actually look inside the patient's eye. So uh, you, you using one eye can look into the eye of your patient and you can assess their retina, um, their optic nerve, all that fun stuff. Um, what else? We had the BIO. Uh, a BIO is a binocular indirect ophthalmoscope. It's essentially a headset you put in, which has a bunch of uh, mirrors and lenses, and use that in conjunction with a big lens, and again you use that to look into a patient's eye. Now that's something that uh, you can use instead of an ophthalmoscope. Obviously because you're using both eyes, you're able to tell depth a lot better. We also had to buy not just the lens for that BIO, but we had to buy two additional lenses to that. One of them um, is a slit lamp lens, and it's a tiny little lens that you use with a slit lamp and with that microscope, and again, you use it to look inside the patient's eye. And that's, of course, if you've got access to a slit lamp, which most, most optoms would, especially in, um, in a clinic setting. Let's see what else. Oh, we also had to get a gonioscope lens, and this one looks, looks a bit crazy, so it looks a bit kaleidoscopic. It's essentially where you get a, uh, like a pyramid, and you truncate the tip of the pyramid, so that you can sort of see through it. And then the inside walls of that pyramid are mirrors. Um, and so this is the lens, this hunk of glass. And this lens is used for assessing the angle of the eye. And the angle of the eye is essentially where your iris meets your cornea. And located there, sort of at that angle, you've got a drain, um, which drains your eye fluid. And sometimes that drain can get clogged up for one reason or another, or sometimes you just need to look at it to make sure everything's okay. And so the way you do that is you take this lens with the mirrors on it, you put in a drop into the patient's eye, a local anesthetic, and you numb it, and then you place this lens onto the patient's eye, and you look using the, the mirrors into the angle. So that's going to be very interesting to, to learn on each other. I think we're meant to be learning it next semester, um, and of course a lot more next year, where we're actually numbing each other's eyes and then placing these hunks of glass onto our eyeballs. So I think that was most of the equipment that we uh, saw today, and we had offerings from all the different companies. The ones that I'm leaning towards are Heine. They're a bit heavier, they're a bit bigger. I feel like if I, <laughs> if I accidentally throw it at something, it's not going to break. When I end up getting that equipment in next semester, I'll probably do a video of, of actually showing it all, as opposed to just these clips that I've got here. Alright, apart from that, the only thing that's left is to do exams. 
and there's going to be an eclipse happening actually the day of my physics exam so we'll see if I'm able to see that uh, I should be home in time but yeah so I might get some footage of watching the eclipse and apart from that uh, that's the end to another week in a palm tree school and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys next semester I'm sure I'll be doing a couple more of these videos I find it quite interesting just to document my process of going through Optom school and I hope you guys are enjoying it and will join me for the next one.